In this video, I will be making my mom's famous cassava pudding. Enjoy! So guys, the items that I'll be using to make this delicious cassava pudding are 3 cups of coconut milk, about 3 pounds of cassava, 1 cup of flour, 2 cups of sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking powder, salt, and some vanilla. Watch me stir this pudding. Stay tuned. So folks, you want to get a blender and you want to add the cassava to the blender, like so. And then you want to add some coconut milk. So I did blend and juice the coconut ahead of time and this is three cups of coconut milk. And I told you before it was about three pounds of cassava, right? And I blend everything together until I got a nice smooth texture. I want it to be really nice and creamy. So your mixture from the blender should be should look something like this and have that this a similar consistency to this, right? Then I pour everything in a nice mixing bowl and I started to add the other ingredients. I add my brown sugar. Then I had my daughter helping, so you'll see some little hands, right? And I did mix everything out. I did not want to have sugar grains in my cake, so I did stir it. So here we're adding the vanilla to the batter. And then she add the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and I was doing the work and she was adding the salt. She's trying to add the baking powder and I was like, no, 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 you have to add it with the flour. So then I got a whisk and I incorporated the flour into the batter. I tend to use a whisk to do that. It just incorporates things so much faster. And as a mom, I don't have a lot of time to sit and do all of this. But I still want the traditional recipe and want to enjoy and taste that nice traditional flavor. So I do everything else the correct way. And um, I stirred it. I taste it. Tastes really good. So then I did butter a baking dish and then I just poured the ingredients into the baking dish, the batter. I baked this for about 45 minutes for on 350 degrees and it was well done. And look at it, it looks something like this. So you may ask, the middle is a little bit sunken. And the reason for this is I tend not to add a lot of flour to my cassava pudding because I want it to taste like cassava and not like um, dough cake, dough, 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 bread kind of. So this gives it a better texture. The, the outside is nice with a nice crust and the inside tends to be really nice and soft. You know, perfect for with a nice cup of coffee which is what I did so I'll show you I did cut this and you'll see the inside just the perfect put in you know hit the spot we all enjoyed it you know me and my little helper and everybody else we had a good time and as I mentioned before this is one of my mom's signature recipe you know she is a phenomenal cook she knows how to stir it up in the kitchen and you know this is just one of her recipe and I couldn't resist in the afternoon I had another slice with some ice cream and a nice glass of wine <laughs> don't judge so if you like this or any other recipe please place a comment in the comment section thumbs up like and subscribe and if there's something that you would like to see me cook in my kitchen please let me know until next time have yourself a merry, happy, taste the bickle day. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, everyone.